Today on Newsbreak, we will take a look at today's top stories. We will also take a look at some of the top moments of J-Term so far. All of this and more on Wednesday, January 11th, 2017. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Emma Perry. And I'm Avery Keenan. And let's take a look at today's top stories. If you were unable to make the meeting for individual speech last week, please contact Kim Chappas at kchappas at spirit.lake.k12.ia.us. A doubles bowling tournament is scheduled for Saturday, January 21st at Quarter Lanes Bowling Alley. There is a $20 entrance fee per team, and the top three finishers will receive a cash prize. Sign-up sheet is in the office. The Dance Marathon is planning an event coming up on February 11th from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the gym and commons area. It will be a night full of dancing, games, crafts, food, speakers, and many other activities. There will be an entrance fee of $5, and donations will be accepted as well. All proceeds will go straight to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Be sure to use the hashtag SLJTerm for all your JTerm photos and tweets. Now let's take a look at today's weather. All right, thanks guys. Taking a look at today's weather and for the rest of this week. Um, today, it's not going to be very warm out there, and we might see a little bit more snow like we did yesterday, with only a high of 8 degrees and a low of 2 degrees. Moving in tomorrow, we'll see the sun might peak out a little bit, but it'll still only be a high of 13 degrees and a low of negative 5, so you're definitely going to want to wear a jacket. Friday, we'll see even maybe a little bit more chance of snow with a high of 11 and a low of 4. So that's literally this week's weather. Back to you guys. And now let's send it over to sports. The Indians basketball game that was scheduled to be played last night was postponed this Saturday. The times are still to be decided. That is your look for today's sports. Back to you guys. Now let's send it over to Seth Boss to take a look at what's been happening in J-Term so far. Alright, thanks guys. Now let's take a look at some of the moments that have been going around at J-Term so far. Um, first, we have a tweet from Mrs. Cooker with the Academic Decathlon team as they're working on interpreting their story for World War II. Uh, here's a tweet from Mr. O'Hagan as one of his daughters and a couple more girls head out to Haiti for their j term mission trip. And then another one from Mr. O'Hagan, the um, Winter Wreck team was out doing some geocaching and with the sub-zero temps, I can't blame them, they were all toasting around the fire. And then another one from Mrs. Cooker and the Academic Decathlon team, Mr. Boyd, gracefully, gracefully came in and showed them some science. And then the Foss Institute had a tweet of a couple of gals working on hair and beauty. And then a one from Emma Perry, one of our J-Term Newsbreak students. A little insight on learn through YouTube as students learn something from YouTube. And that's all. And then we should have more tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Back to you. That's all the time we have for today, SLHS. And have a fantastic day.